Okay, good evening. Today we will now give the second set of homework. So first off, you need to download the latest Windows installer, Windows 22 server. So I have pre-downloaded it here. Okay, so our next task is we will install Windows 2022 server in our workstation. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is you will select new virtual machine. Okay, just specify I will install later. Go next. Look for Windows 20 server if you do not see it pwede ng 2007 2019 it's the same thing anyway you go next so just change the name here 2022 you go next make it 80 gig go next we have to customize some hardware increase the memory to minimum of 8 gig make the network adapter not look for the ISO file that we downloaded so this is the ISO file so review 8 processor not and click close you go and finish and power on your machine press enter so this will take a few minutes So let's wait a bit. The first part is the welcome to the uh, welcome Windows welcome screen. We just go next and click on install. So this will be faster if you put in more RAM like 12 or 16 gig but 8 is good enough so make sure you choose the second option uh, the, the the other options are for very powerful machines so just choose the second option go next accept go next custom select the entire 80 gig go next and wait for it to install now normally this will take roughly around 8 minutes so to save on video time I will pause the the recorder and come back when we're nearly done okay Okay, now after in waiting for a few minutes, it's going to reboot. Wait for it. Still booting up. Patience. Okay, I, after waiting for a, a bit of time, we are now presented with the given, uh, give the password. So we just put in Cisco123, click on finish, and log in. Okay, since we are virtualized, the command to log in is not control alt delete, but control alt insert. So careful. 
type in our password Cisco123 Now we are logging in. This is the first window that you will see. Notice that it's different from no Windows 10 or 11. But it's just easy. You just click this one so that it disappears. So I'm just going to give a summary of what needs to be done. Post server install. So number one, you have to turn off firewall. Number two, have a static IP address. Number three, install DNS server. And number four, configure DNS server. Okay, so these are basically the tasks that we need to do. So let's get started. Now it's much easier, oh by the way, number five, shortcut for CMD. All right, so first we do the shortcut thing. Press this one, type CMD, right click. There's a pin to stas bar. We need that, okay? So run CMD and type route print highlight the first line and remember that because our setting is set at NAT and if it's not it has internet so let us test that we go back to CMD ping www.nba.com or any URL Notice that it's replying, we do have internet, okay? But our IP address is dynamic. This needs to be changed to static. It's very simple. You just type ncpa.cpl and change this IP address into remove the IPv6 for now go to properties put in the static same IPS as we had earlier let's make it smaller so it's minus 233 192 whoa 192 168 233 dot something easy to re recall our gateway is based on the gateway here so 192.168.233.2 now since we're becoming a DNS server we will change the DNS to 127.0.0.1 because we are going to install a DNS server and it requires this address so press OK, press OK, go back to CMD, type IP config, and still ping the internet, 1111, we're still good. Now let's go to step 2, disable the firewall. To disable the firewall, we need to go to PowerShell. So wait for a few seconds. It's taking forever. Finally. Okay, so PowerShell is one of the skills you guys need to learn. So go to view, show script pane. No, 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 not that one. Show script pane. Perfect. Close this one. So the first powerful uh, PowerShell command is we check if firewall is enabled. Get dash net 
firewall profile press enter play it so this will show that the firewall is still enabled see it says true so you have a firewall we don't need it for now so you have to turn it off okay so you can either make a new window and type in set dash net firewall profile minus name public comma private and the last one is damn this link forgot the name of the last one let me check public private and domain minus enabled false and play it so it's turned off okay the next command we need to run is we have to install <coughs> excuse me DNS server the command is add dash windows feature minus name dns minus include management tools that's the virtual command to install dns let's play it wait for a bit and now DNS is installed to verify if DNS is installed you have two ways either click here or the much easier way and faster way is three to tools oh tools and DNS okay now one little minor detail we need to change the name a DNS server can't have this kind of name so we go to PowerShell again create a new window and the command is rename dash computer so generally name servers or DNS servers are called NS so let's just call this NS22 or just plain NS okay so play it so it needs to reboot so I will pause the video right after rebooting okay so the command to reboot is restart dash computer 